What is going on guys? Tom here from Amazon Lions. Now today we're going to talk about something very important. I don't know if you guys have heard but one of my friends sent me a video from Yahoo that Amazon is actually using the data of its sellers to private later label some of the products. Now this is absolutely an insane concern if you're an Amazon seller because all of a sudden you're like okay what if I have a really good product on Amazon that I'm selling and now Amazon is going to come and take that product and sell it as their own private label and drive me out of business, right? Which is an absolutely logical concern, right? Given that Amazon, how big they are, they have the money, they have the power, they have the data, they have the whole supply chain figured out, right? So this is absolutely an insane concern. And at first I was actually taken back too. And then as I like to do, I sleep on it 24 hours, do my research, figure out what is it actually that is happening and look at the facts guys. Okay. Is there a room to, for concern? Absolutely. Should I be concerned if I'm a seller that is like in uh, multiple six figures or even seven figure? I don't think so. So here is, let me explain to you guys why. First of all, I'm going to post the link to that video that I saw in the description below so you guys can check it out and see what's happening in the news on Amazon. And then watch this video. I want you guys to make points of the things that I'm going to talk about because it's really important, especially if you're concerned, especially if you have a profitable business on Amazon that you're doing absolutely insane in, right? So first of all, let's consider this, okay? Facts show us that Amazon is going to take the data from its private label sellers and try to mimic those products, reverse engineer it and sell those products, hence competing with you. But what type of products are they looking into? What type of data are they looking into? Okay. The first thing is that they're looking at best sellers. So they're looking at the cream of the crop, like they are not going after sellers who are selling, let's say a product for hundred grand a month or 200 grand a month, 300 grand a month. No, none of that guys. They're going for the best of the best. These are like millions of dollars in sales that these sellers are doing. So if somebody is doing, let's say a few million dollars a year on a single product, that's the guy who should be worried. Not the guy that is doing six figure sales from one product. Now keep in mind guys, first thing that I tell you guys is never put your eggs in one basket. Have multiple products when you start on Amazon, build it up, have four to five products. Now I have products that are selling $300,000 a year. I'm not worried. I'm not worried because I know Amazon is not going to try to compete with me. They're going after the best of the best that are selling thousands of units per day, guys. They're not going after people who are selling like hundreds of units and stuff like that. So uh, from uh, just from looking at that data, I am not immediately worried right now. Things could change. Amazon say, OK, now we've looked at our best sellers data. Now we're going to look at different things. But you got to understand that. 1% of Amazon's pri uh, the sales are private label sales. That's basically Amazon's own brand. 99% of it comes from sellers like you and me guys. Like it does not come from anywhere else. The reason that Amazon is a mammoth today is because of us. It's not because of themselves or the products that they could sell. Honestly guys, it's not about that. It's because we do the groundwork. Amazon does your pick and pack and shipping. That's their business. Pick, pack, warehousing and shipping. They do not want to get into finding suppliers. They do not want to get into uh, finding products and stuff like that that are not worth their time. Amazon is not going to look into like really small products. Like if a guy is starting out, you're starting out today, right? You know you're going to make $5,000 a month on a product, which is basically that's your sales, which is two and a half thousand per product in profit in your pocket. Amazon is never going to come after you because they are not worried about that market. After all, we represent 99% of that market, right? Now, there is a little bit of room to worry in terms of monopolizing the business because as you guys know, Amazon represents 50% of the e-commerce business around the world. So when they use that kind of data, they have access to 50% of the world's e-commerce. What is happening, right? So they can actually engineer their products so they can be very profitable for them in which they will be that top tier that they're going to touch. 
they will be absolutely amazing for them. It's gonna generate them a lot of money, but they're not gonna get into the nitty gritty details of like you and me who are selling hundreds of thousands of dollars, but not millions, right? So we don't have to worry about that. I know that news is all about fear mongering and trying to scare us, but I'm telling you guys, if this is something of a concern for you that is really standing the way of you getting on Amazon and selling, you should not be, guys. Like, I know that news always scares us. Oh my God, Amazon is taking over the seller's business. It's not really. We represent 99% of Amazon. So, therefore, we uh, Amazon will never take that away from us, ever. Yes, they will take the top tier because they know they can make money and a lot of money with that, right? But they will never take away that. So the other thing is, I want you guys to consider that we always, always, as sellers, try to bring quality products, right? So if you're worried about the Amazon basics, which is their like really um, value-based, uh, low price quality product that they sell as part of their private label, you don't have to worry about that because we sell premium, we sell quality. We do not want to sell the dollar store shit that actually breaks down after a few weeks. We never want to get into products like that because that just ruins your business and your name, guys, as an Amazon seller. Nobody's going to go. Once the word comes out, the reviews kick in that you are not selling quality products, nobody's going to buy your shit. So that's why we never sell shit on Amazon. We always sell quality products. That's why we spend time to do proper product research. We spend time on Alibaba to find the proper suppliers when we are private labeling so that we can build a good, sustainable business. That's it guys, I just wanted to quickly touch base on this thing because it was really freaking out a lot of people. And I can tell you guys, you do not have to worry about this. I'm gonna post some links for you guys so you can check out the news yourself, but be very careful what, what you take out of this. It is not something that you should be worried about, it, at least at this point. Once you get to a point that you are starting to make millions of dollars from one product, absolutely you have every right to be worried about because they will take away that business from you if you are a seven figure multiple seven figure seller on amazon on a single product i'm telling you guys your business is in danger because amazon you can never compete with amazon they got the funds they got the data they got the algorithm on their side you think they're not going to use it to actually um, build a profitable business for their products, you're absolutely wrong. So if you're a multiple seven figure, be warned. But if you're not, I'm telling you guys, you guys are absolutely fine. It's absolutely okay to get on the e-commerce side of things with Amazon and start selling online. There is no problem there. Okay, so one last thing that I wanted to mention to you guys, I just as a business as a whole, okay? Amazon is one of the greatest platforms ever created to allow users like me and yourself or sellers like me and yourself, small guys that have built a profitable business and a livelihood on, okay? That's not gonna go away, at least not for a long period of time. Now I understand Amazon is trying to become everything. They want every, every single product to be available on their uh, website, on their platform. Now you know that they've started getting into real estate and stuff like that, which is absolutely crazy stuff, but it is gonna happen, guys. They are gonna be one for all and all for one. That's what's gonna happen. Now, the things that they're doing is no different than some of the retailers like Walmart and Target are doing, right? Or Costco, for example, right? They see what kind of products they sell on a monthly basis and then they have their own Kirkland brand that kind of copies that so retailers have been doing this for a long time and same as Walmart they have their own private label brands that they sell in their stores because they saw a product that they were selling for a third party seller right that is doing absolutely amazing and there's demand for it so that's it guys it's nothing different that any other retailer has done before except it's a much bigger market Walmart has 18% if not less uh, of the uh, of the business right of the retail business but amazon has 50 so that's why it's a little bit scary and if you're if you're a multi um seven figure seller which is in millions guys you should absolutely be worried because this is going to cause your business to crash you cannot compete with amazon but if you're if you want to be if you want to start out and be even like if you are making a, so just let me explain something to you guys if you are a seven-figure seller on Amazon, but from multiple products, you're absolutely fine. 
I'm telling you guys, if you're making $1 million from Amazon, net profit uh, a year, right, from five to 10 different products, you are absolutely fine, right? I'm making 700 from five products that I have, right? I'm absolutely fine. I'm not worried about it. So guys, you shouldn't either. So I'm telling you guys, you're fine, but if you're a big time seller, absolutely, your business is in jeopardy. I hope this clarified some of the things that you've been hearing about in the news and um, kind of think about it critically and really sit down and not have to be worried, uh, not have to be caught up with the fear mongering of news trying to scare you, especially in the US news. Of course, you guys know that everything is a big deal and it's ex exploded and it's actually like the end of the world, every single thing, but it's actually not. So. That's it. I hope you guys learned something valuable today. I hope I explained it to you guys. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.